Hackey and the boys get in. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Oh! <laughs> oh, shoot. Is he dead? Oh, he about to get ran over again. What is he doing? You're not ready for prime time. Phone call from Dimitri to start off the episode. Let's see what he wants. Nico, it's Dimitri. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up though before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me. Pause? Who's stomping? Why are you stomping so loud? But uh, we're going to do these, what, Packy missions? Isn't that his name? We haven't seen him since the Elizabetta era. So now we're going to mess with him on his own. Harboring a grudge. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's going to judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho ho, there he is, Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though. She don't put out, which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. There's a car literally right here. Can I not get in this car? Is the police going to be mad? Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east. But we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. 
the American prison system. I said system. So I don't know what I was trying to say. Let's just get into the mission area. <laughs> My words don't work today. Let's just right, keep it like that. Are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Stick to me, man. Oh, is after that conversation we just had? You talking about some stick to me? Oh, you getting stuck on the car. You okay? Am I pulling up with my pistol? What's it looking like? Man, going kind of fast. Follow me, Nico. Parkour. Follow Packy up onto the roof. Are we jumping that? Shimmy? I'm gonna let you go first. The upper body strength is pretty decent. Why didn't we just go right there and then jump over? Yeah, because you see that right there? That's a pallet. Take that pallet, jump onto that. Okay, whatever. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? We'll dump your load. What you mean? You just gonna stand right? Hey, move bastard. out the way. What's the problem? You're in the way. Talk about what's the problem? Climbing on up, climbing on up. Ooh. You see, I think that's jumpable from right here. Can you please jump straight, Nico? Climb up. Climb up. Now we're crouching. What are we crouching for? I'll get here on my own time. In life, you gotta just take your time, relax, focus, and breathe. I got a sniper. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Climb down the mini cabin to get to the ground. So why did we came up here just so you can tell me that? You couldn't have just like phoned me like the information while I was in position? Steal the truck. So do I, I go down from right here? You gotta jump down there to get at him, man. Oh, really? Duh. Oh, they're gonna be right there, though. Should I shoot? No, I can run right here. They gonna say anything? I don't wanna just walk up and they start shooting at me. Take cover. I don't remember this mission, so let me see what happens if I just walk up. What? Oh, okay. I'm glad I did a little test run. I can't hit fire with this. I can't hit fire? Oh my god, they did. I can't hit fire from this position, apparently. Packy got him distracted on the roof. And there's people to my right, I remember that. Move these boxes, man. It's, bro. Peek it one more time. Take my time. I don't need to be in no rush. I'm surprised the police ain't on the way yet. What oh, is the explosive barrel right? Don't blow it up. Is that explosive? I don't know. I'm not trying to find out. I'm gonna back up just in case it is. God dang, there's a lot of these boys. 
Run, 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 run. Gotta get a different angle sometimes. Pick it one more time. You should be taking out more people in your position, bro. You literally have the height advantage. I think there's one more in that corner. You like? You like? Weave. You got anything up in this office? Like any armor or something that I could just take? Nothing. Just thought I would check. Where's he at? Where, where are you shooting at? What are you doing? I right, just wanted to take everybody out real quick. Let me get some of this ammo so I don't have to spend money on ammo. There we go. Now let's get in the truck. Hopefully get out of here safely. Wait for Packy to get in the truck. You gonna get in the back? What are you doing? Get in. Binko, is that a store in this game? I know that's in San Andreas. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's Lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. What you mean, follow? They shouldn't follow us. How would they know? We took everybody out that was there. Unless they somehow call reinforcements. I don't see how that's possible. Who's shooting? Oh. Move, man. With the needle. Police, you hear this right here? You see that right there, police? You don't care? What are you doing? Or just shoot them like that. I don't got to do all that. Talking about grenades. They about to end up getting me killed. Okay, throw a grenade then. Hold LB. Wait, what? Okay. I don't think that's sufficient, I'm not gonna lie. Bro. No way this game is that trash. Thank God. If I would have flipped the truck out, what are you doing? That man running full speed at the truck. Holy's going to disappear, right? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. What you mean? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! How you doing, sir? You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. I did all that. I can't get a ride. How much I, I mean, I'm getting paid, though? I'm still one star. Okay, I was about to say 7.5. That's not that's not bad at all. All right, we got another packy mission. Hopefully, uh, I feel like I should go and get some more armor, but I don't think it's that serious. I don't know. That 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 for a first mission was kind of crazy. 
So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey. How you doing? Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. What are we about to we do? Got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean, right. good. All right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. Let's do this. I don't even know these two guys, so why would I even accept that? Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Well, there's a police car right there. Can't grab that car. Um. Can you pull off real quick? I'm gonna stop this man, right? That's a little four door, or is no, no, that's a female. My bad. How you doing, ma'am? Can you turn? Okay, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna get this one all the way back here. Two cars down. This is a nice car to roll up in. It's tented. It has everything we need. Don't even try and get back in. Hacky and the boys, get in. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh shoot. Is he dead? Oh he about to get ran over again. What is he doing? You're not ready for prime time. Bro, what is going on? Almost failed the mission in the first 30 seconds. Why is there so much traffic? A mafia controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those walk families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know that Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, He's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. 
Model community leader in my ass. You just worry he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico. What are you talking to me like that for? I'm the most qualified for the job. You got people that you hired and they get ran over by a car. You getting ran over by a car? Well, dang! Didn't even take two seconds to establish what's going on. Mmm, nice headshot. Can I blow that up for whatever reason? I don't know why I would do that. Wait, just in case. Oh, I can't blow that up? Okay. What are you shooting at? Like, the people behind me, what are you shooting at? Because I doubt you're shooting at them. Where? Where? Does that not blow up? I'm just trying to pre-destroy it so I don't get killed. Knowing my luck. Oh, okay. We got to make it up top in the building. I thought it was this building right here. With the way they started shooting. Take cover. Oh. Just got to the right. Can you move? Let's go inside and find this money. Let's go inside and find this money. You gonna go first? Oh, is it that door? What are we doing? Oh, you want me to go first, right? Of course you do. Ooh. Get down, get down, get down, get, get down. I doubt this is where some money's at. There should be more protection. There's not enough people. Why do y'all keep getting in the way constantly? Is that an enemy? Two hundred IQ. I think I was shooting at my teammate. I don't know. Who is who? Whoever it is, he got a shotgun. You didn't get this guy back here and you worried about the guy upstairs? Pete. Come on. Bro, what are you doing? Michael is dead. Can we still finish the mission? That ain't my fault. That's your fault. Damn it, Michael's down! I'm ghosting! Boy, ain't no way, boy. What does that have to do with me? Bro, that's your fault for running up like a goofy. All right, let's try this again. Um, I really don't even... Did you die by this guy that was shooting at... Oh. How you doing, sir? I don't understand how that was my fault. <laughs> I really don't get to see how why. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, kids. I got the cash. Shit. There's I'm more? Sorry, that was the worst joke known to man. People back here? Are we leaving? Can I go through that door? I'm going through this door. What was the difference? They were still... Escape from the depot with Packy. What? They basically were going to die anyway, so what was the purpose if they survived right there or not? I didn't know which direction he was talking about. Yeah, them boys over there fighting, they probably going to get killed. We going to get more money if they die. 
Can you drive a boat? This is my first time driving a boat in this game in a minute. Where's he at? Wait for Packy. What are you doing? I thought you were racing to get into the boat. Get in the seat. Hurry up. Where are we going? Get Packy back to safety. Sorry, the other dude's dead. Did I waste my time that failing the mission? Beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped him off. I don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, but shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money, then. What a trooper. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your share. Don't go spending it in the Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. I can already tell this man's missions are gonna be stupid. I mean, that mission was dumb. That was literally my first time failing in the entire game. I went like half the game without failing a single mission. <laughs> and I did that's not even my fault. Dang! I appreciate you though. Packy sent me a message, saw this Liberty Tree story about us and them triads at the fish market while I was looking for some hot amateur. Totally killed. Okay. How you doing, Jacob? Um, I'm coming to buy you some. Yeah, I need some body armor, my brother. Hacky, what do you want? Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She I don't, don't care about her. She sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Bro, oh, leave me alone. Okay, come on. Okay, I have a packy mission anyway. I guess we're doing that instead of the question mark. I want to go to Unless that's the mission. <laughs> packy isn't here. What? 6 a.m. and 7 p.m.? This game makes life harder than it needs to be. What do you mean you're not here? What do you want? Told my brothers about you. Got a big job plan. Put on a suit and tie and some good shoes and get over here. Cost a lot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I already got a suit and tie. <laughs> you weren't here when I was ready to start the mission. Now Dwayne is calling. Nico, man, I was out today and I saw this bitch coming out of Nail Place. She looked just like my old girl Cherise, the one you said you killed with Javon outside the arcade. You sure that was her? Dwayne, it was her. She screwed you over while you were inside. She's dead now. Shit, man. I could have sworn it was her. Sorry, man. She's gone. Maybe things could have been different in another life. Word. So did you want me to kill her or not? What was the purpose of that phone call? All right, come on, let's see if we can do this Packy mission now. Is it the right time? Please. Thank you. Three Leaf Clover. What is wrong with you? There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. What happened to the other guys? Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh, no offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in Brett Halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. Oh. <laughs> ah, 
No problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family, or I will fuck with yours. Your breath stink. All right, we're heading to the southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Find a four-door car. Yep, we pulling up in all red. Let's go. Robbing a bank. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is the bank robbery where we see um, what's his name? Luis. I think that's his name, right? Or am I thinking of his name wrong? I don't. I don't know. The dude from Ballad to Get Tony. All right. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and Saint Michael here are gonna handle the civilians. While Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. We all know what we're doing. Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. That man got off-brand C4. These people drugged out. Trying to rob a bank. Ooh, that is the wrong direction. Why does the GPS go in? Why does the GPS start talking in slow mo when you do that? All right, here we go, right here. I got to drive happy. Calculating route. Calculating route. Here we are. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. This is the mission where we see uh, the dude from Ballad of Gay Tony. Right, yep, there you go, right there. A medal for playing hero, all you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money, it's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the fucking door. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it. Man, that's an alarm. He called the police. Get on the floor. Get that man ah, up out of here. He sir, took too long. Too. Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad Why idea. Why is the camera like this? My leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. You about to get popped. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. 60. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. 
That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do! Can you focus you on the hostages? Can you focus on the hostages? Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We don't do that to fuck with us! Oh. Alarm in 3, Shit. 2, 1. Michael! Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Pack up that bag. Come on, Nico. Go down to the vault. Are there, is it security? I don't remember. At the bottom, at least. Ooh, just stacked up right there. Go ahead, grab. Oh, I'm on security cam. Three bags. Yeah, you guys gonna have to hold this for yourself. I need to hold my gun. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. Is that Fat Joe? Who is that right there? We will, we will, we will. Come out with your hands high. Come on, let's do this, people. Move in, move in. Do we got a plan? Go, 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 go. Well, yeah, where's our escape driver? This is the stupidest plan ever. No getaway driver at all. This is the National Office of Security Enforcement. Come out there with your hands up. It's a bacon fat. I'll follow your lead. Oh, shoot, where you come from? I can't. Whoa, what? Hello? Is he dead? Make sure. Where are they going? Ooh! Guess we going down the alley with it. Uh, is somebody watching the flank just in case? They about to pull up right behind us. Can't just get up in this car and get out. There we go, beautiful. Where are we going? I'm about to just run. I don't gotta shoot nothing. Oh wow, really? I didn't expect that. Man, they got triple quadruple armor. Suppress this fire. <laughs> that man said I ain't going to jail in this country after that conversation he had the last mission they're all up top and everything where you going don't run how far, how far we gotta follow these boys where are we going to the sewer I don't remember man the alleyway is not gonna save us Shout! I feel like my bullets ain't working. Run for your life, run for your life. Go, 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 go. Move, what are you crouching for? Drop the weapon or we will shoot you. <laughs> 
Drop your weapon or we will shoot you. You're not going to use the minigun? Okay. Spoke too soon. They got some terrible aim. Yeah, hurry up, Nico. <laughs> Man, you're wasting his ammo. Run for your life. No way. How you get right here and they ran down the stairs that fast? Oh, wow, really? It's not like we robbed a bank and they are everywhere. Talk about they are all down here. They don't give you no armor in this mission. They give you health, but I don't really need health, my brother. They all down these stairs. God dang. If you don't start, a, if you don't have armor on this mission, you are done. Dang. He had to shoot his body like that? All you had to do was follow the train, CJ. Wait, what is the plan, though? What are we doing? We about to get ran over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Weave, weave. Wait, so what are you doing? Man, honestly, I will mind my business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me, my brother. Weave. Yeah, hurry up. Michael was unlucky. It wasn't anybody's fault what happened to him. And the explosive did its job. This is the worst plane ever. I said plane, plane. Right here. Now we're going back up to the street. Oh my god. <sighs> this is the longest mission ever. I better get a million dollars from doing all this. Are we losing them? Kind of faded down to three stars. Am I leaving by myself? Find a four door car. Okay. Get out, get out, get out. Get in, get in, get in. Where y'all at? Where they at? No way they stuck in the thing. Get in, get in, 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 in. In, bro, what are you doing? Oh my god. Get in the car, please. Shit, 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 Michael! Damn it! I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life. Kid only wanted to help. He loved you, Packy. He was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want gonna, you to have to break no bad news to our ma. Neither do I. Right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Got it. Now we just got to make sure this car makes it back in one piece. All right. We made it to our destination. I don't know why we would immediately bring the car we escaped in to the house that you live in. What? 
Thanks, Nico. <laughs> Dang. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Bro, just get me out of this mission, man. <laughs> Saving content. Oh, there we go. You unlocked all the islands. Full exploration. Wait, how much? Oh, we rich? 250k? Okay, hang on. <laughs> how you doing, Kate? You alright? Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Packy. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay, that could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends, but sure. You were literally me socializing with me the first then. time I walked in the door. I'm right here. Boom. And we're going to take the same vehicle we did business in. Like my suit, it got blood on it. Hey you, shall we go? Yeah, let's see what's the closest thing. I'm gonna go to the closest thing to the house. Nice, isn't it? What's nice? I don't know, getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. Try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess yep. it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't... This ain't Dude, a date. Okay, right. check this out. Cluck and Bell, $4, $5, boom. Talking about this ain't a date. What is it called then? <laughs> take Kate back home, bet. Talking about this ain't a date. Guess what? Hopefully that chicken sandwich was good enough, my good brother. Or my good sis. That could have been serious. I'm just trying to build that relationship up just I in case. Feel my arteries hardening. That's what's up. That's the best part about it, honestly. Talking about this ain't a date. I'm glad I took you right there for the first one. Mm-hmm. They say first impressions mean everything, but the first impression when you met me was I was doing business. Good investment. Try your luck. So, uh, good night? I'm not asking you in. We're friends, nothing more. Well, well good night then, Kate. Dang. Why you take so long to get out? Good job. Can I do it again? I can spam her or no? Okay, so listen, you want to hang out at all? No, another time. No problem. 